The first thing you'll notice when you come into John R. Wood and Continuation High School is that half of the campus is actually a farm. Located at the heart of the San Fernando Valley, the Wooden High School farm provides students and the surrounding neighborhood with the opportunity to experience rural surroundings and animal life that just isn't available to most people living in Los Angeles. The commodities the farm offers is unmatched by anything in LAUSD, yet it still has the potential for so much more than what it is today. The school at one time was located on one end of the campus at Cleveland High School. Uh, about 25, 30 years ago, there was a fire on that part of the campus, so they had to relocate, and they knew that there was this property was available. This property, which was originally a research facility for farming education, has been owned by LAUSD since 1924, back when the valley was mostly farmland. But with the rapid industrialization of the valley in the 50s, it was vacated and unused until the property was needed again for what was then known as Aliso High School. When the school was relocated over here, they decided to incorporate the farm as part of the campus. And so it became a responsibility for the students and staff to make it into a working farm as well. What was your favorite animal? I like the bird. I like the Here I am with Ralphie the pig, who's relaxing here in the wonderful sunshine. And their favorite animal here is who? What's his name? Ralph the pig. In amongst the hordes of creatures known as students and teachers, a vast array of animals on the John Wooden farm includes many chickens, three goats, four rabbits, a peacock, several species of duck, including the Indian runner, and peas, including two athletes. And of course, Ralph, the world famous hot belly. One of the problems we've had over the years is being able to get funds to be able to support the farm. The John Wooden Farm is funded and upheld by the school and community alone, independent of LAUSD. The district does not provide us with any funding budget whatsoever, so we've been at the mercy of the community and parents and students to provide uh, contributions or to seek donations from veterinarians and various animal feed uh, facilities as well. Because of the shaky money supply, there are many things which, if we had our way, would be repaired or improved. Like this fence. Or these posts, which, for some reason, goats seem to think is a good substitute for food. There is also a fear that there will be an imminent loss of funding. If we can't maintain the uh budget for the farm, which is approximately $2,500 per year, uh, then we may have to just uh, close the farm. The animals would be uh, taken. It would be unfortunate because the community benefits from it. Our students here on campus uh, enjoy the opportunity to work on the farm, and it would just be a real loss overall for the, for the general school community at large. This is the hay for the goats. This is the hay for the bunnies. They are on a special diet. The rabbits only like timothy grass. The other stuff is too hard on their on their intestines. And this is for the goats. It's a variety of different grasses. So help keep them healthy. Meet Jeanette Dow. She is a math and science teacher here. She also teaches the unique subject of animal sciences with the farm as her classroom. For Wooden, one of the science requirements is that students take at least a unit of animal sciences. The students are responsible for making sure the animals have fresh water, fresh food, to check on their general health to make sure they're not injured. So they make sure that they're in good shape, they have good food, good water, and a comfortable place to live. 
My name is Nancy Sweeney, and I'm the president of Revitalize Reseda, which is a nonprofit that was formed by community volunteers to help improve the quality of life in Reseda. On April 25, 2009, the nonprofit organization Revitalize Reseda chose to put forth its time and effort in helping to restore the John R. Wooden farm. After coming in and seeing the serene environment here and seeing how run down things were, we decided to take on a challenge and help you guys rehab the farm. With help from two sects of the Independent Pool and Spa Service Association and sponsors like the Home Depot and New Age Pet Supply, they raised the funds and the volunteers to equip the farm with a new pond filtering system, a new tin roof, improvements to the animal pen, brand new chicken wire for the coop, and extensions to the rabbit pen. Do you like your new home, little buddy? So my philosophy is always giving back and helping other people, and that's what I want to do. So I'm going to donate five thousand dollars. Put that number down. You got it on tape. Stopping by on construction day was Southwest Valley District City Council Member Dennis Zine, who was more than impressed. I keep talking about beautifying Reseda, beautifying it through revitalization. And what we're going to do is make it a better place. And this academic environment is very important for this community. It was on this day that he announced he was making a $5,000 contribution to the upkeep of the farm. Uh, I'm going to make a financial contribution to help continue. Because what I want to see is this place shine. We want to make this place an island where people come and visit and they can enjoy it. So that $5,000 will help generate more money. To continue yeah, the projects, yeah. so yeah. I want to keep keep this place shining, and I want to keep everybody happy with it. The students come here from Birmingham, Granada, Taft, Monroe, Canoga, Chatsworth, Cleveland, Reseda. They work together with the animals. They get the academics, and it all blends together. Wooden High School attracts students from all throughout the valley. It's not often that a student on his way to class might pass by a chicken amongst the student body, or even amongst the recycling. Along with the unique environment and education, the caring faculty produces one of the top graduation rates among LAUSD continuation schools and best in the valley. What's impressive is 70% of the students that come here graduate. So you know the LA, the LAUSD doesn't have a great record for graduation. But here it's 70% graduate, which is phenomenal. We want to continue that. The students create a loving and nurturing environment for the animals. It even attracts guest animals from the neighborhood. It just sort of flew in one day and decided it wanted to live here. Now, over the years, we've been able to have opportunities to have the elementary school students come and visit the farm and see what a working farm is like. The students and teachers of John Wooden aren't the only ones who benefit from the manor. The farm is a staple to the surrounding neighborhood. And the community really supports it in terms of uh, having a place to take the young kids and even those who've grown up in farm areas as well. Yes, he like it! See? My name is Diana Douglas Maddie and I work for Reseda Adult School. And these are the children for the parents that are going to the school. We always come here every day and give the animals their little treats. We have fun doing it. In addition, we've had adults with disabilities and high school students with disabilities from other schools come and visit and do some vocational therapy as well. Hopefully in the future more people will see what the farm has to offer and its outreach will expand. The sky's the limit for the kids here. With a 70% graduation rate and the um, resources that are available to the kids, I think it's tremendous. We're bringing a petting zoo, a farm life to an urban area. And what we have is virtually no farm. This is a hidden treasure. We can preserve this. What started as a new educational attraction for a school trying to rise from the ashes 
has transformed to a valuable asset in an urban middle class area. The farm is a jewel of the community that's brought joy to an ever expanding collection of people for many years and hopefully many more to come. Everybody's heard about the bird. The bird, bird, bird. The birds are winning.